Winning Fame Lab is amazing because it's one of the things I've always wanted to do since I was a little girl, which is um, to represent a female Muslim scientist. And um, I can't think of a better stage to be seen than on, on Fame Lab. I'm really proud of myself, which I really am not most of the times, but now I'm really proud of myself. To be here representing my country has been such an overwhelming and humbling and amazing experience. It was a great opportunity to meet new people, not only here in the final, but also back home in our national final. I learned how not to be that competitive because I generally am a bit. So here with this all atmosphere of Fame Lab that is all friendly and nice, I don't really Really care if I win. Fame Lab has helped my personal development. As a researcher, sometimes you get tired and weary. I don't want to glamorize science and say everything is hunky dory. Sometimes your research is not going the way that you want it to go. Sometimes experiments fail. But when you see how your work relates to other people, when you see how your work is impactful, to the community. It gives you new strength, it gives you a boost. I've learned that there's a lot of research projects that I had no idea existed. I also was able to meet a lot of wonderful and international colleagues around the world. I think for me the biggest thing is um, diversity of voices and this kind of actually shows the range of different people that are going into that doing science, science research. If you're thinking of applying for FameLab and you think you don't fit a certain criteria, just forget about it. As long as you have a story, you have something to say about your science, then you should go for it and just figure out the rest along the way. And I think it'll be an amazing experience.